morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Most of the exams for semester 2 are over and on 19th you have computer application subject. Yes children. And I know all of you are ready and this video is about tips, what you should do in the exams, what you should not do, what important things are there for which you have to be a little more attentive and obviously for Wishing you all the best for computer application subject. Children, this subject question paper is divided into two parts, section A and section B. We start with section A. Section A, you will get one question MCQ based of 10 marks. Right, children? Now, 10 marks question, maximum you have to take only 10 minutes to complete this part. Now, how you will be doing? Put the correct answer option along with the correct answer. Suppose your option C is correct. So write option C and what option is mentioned, please do write that also. So there should not be any confusion to you as well as to the examiner. Right? So option number, the correct option number and the correct answer you should be writing. Now when we talk about section A. As you have only four topics in your syllabus, so from each topic, around two to three marks question will be there. Only ten marks in section A. So either two marks or three marks question will be there from each topic. And the topics which are there in your syllabus are library classes, string handling, arrays and encapsulation. Right children? So you have to prepare all these. Children, uh, we have already covered MCQ questions for section A in our board booster series please check the link in the description box and please go through that once if you understand those questions I am sure that you will be able to do any question which is asked in section A in section A each question is of one mark so either you will get one or zero right so be little more careful when you are choosing the correct option right now we move on to section B Section B children, you have to attempt four questions in this section B. And maximum time which you should use for each question is 15 minutes, not more than that. So 15 into 4 is 60. 60 minutes you should be able to complete section B, all four programs. First mistake which most of the children do is that they don't put the correct question number. Please children, don't miss the question number. Put the question number as it is mentioned in the question paper. If question number 5 is there, put question number 5. Don't put the order in which you are writing. Put the question number of the question paper. Right? And then each program you should start with the comment entry. Comment. Right? Say your program is to input a word and to check whether it is a palindrome or not. So the first statement of your program should be the comment entry program to check for the palindrome. That will be clear to the examiner also and to you also when you are doing the revision. Right? And uh, try to give three to four comments in each program. Now children, when we talk about program, program works on the principle of input process output so for each program give the input part first it is that can be input using scanner class that can be assignment input right so first all the values which you have to take the input part should be there then the calculation or the processing part and then finally what is to be displayed as output the result of the program that has to be there each program is of 10 marks right the common mistakes which children do is that they miss semicolon you know semicolon is the last character of each statement so please don't miss the semicolon then opening braces and closing braces how many opening braces are there that many closing braces should be there you start the for loop opening braces but you don't close that and then you close uh, think that you are closing and you close main and class. So there is mismatch in number of opening and closing braces. Please do check that again once you complete the program. Right children? 
Children, you know Java is case sensitive language and each token which you write in Java program, please check the case of that, whether it has to be in uppercase or lowercase. Like most of the string handling functions, a single letter or two letters are in capital, rest all are in small. Then what you have to check whether you have declared all the variables which you have used in the program or not. Then if initialization is required of any variable, have you done that or not, right? So these are few important things which you have to take care of. Then we come to the types of program. Children, you will get one program on arrays, then one program on strings, then one program on string arrays, right? These three programs are fixed. You are going to get those programs. And one program definitely which you have to attempt will be your arrays or string with wrapper class functions, right? Character based functions. Suppose the question is to input character array of size 20 and count how many letters are present in that. So here input will be in array type. Then when you are extracting element by element from the array, then there you will be using character dot is letter function which is of wrapper class. So like this the questions can be asked, right? So again I am repeating prepare arrays properly, strings properly and string array. In string array children please do prepare linear search, right? Some important questions I will be posting in telegram channel please do practice that. Children, I have already made the playlist and posted the link of those four playlists as per your syllabus of semester 2 in the telegram channel. Please do check the link of that. I will be posting the link in the description box of today's video also. Only few videos are there. Please do prepare the entire syllabus from these videos. If you will prepare all these topics properly, I am 100% sure that you are going to get very good score in your computer applications. Because computer just needs logic. If you are logically correct and syntactically also correct, the syntax is correct, the logic is correct, then definitely your program will be correct, right? So please do check the link in the description box of today's video. And those four topics are there, which are there in your syllabus. One month playlist for each topic already in the Telegram channel. I will be posting it again today in the Telegram channel. If you want, you can check it from there. Now, please do understand the programs, right? Instead of learning, don't try to mug up the programs. Understand and if you understand the logic of the program, you will be able to do any question based on those syntax, those logics, right? As only few videos are there in each playlist and I know I go very slow. So you can just play the videos at 1.5 speed and definitely you will understand each and every topic minute thing also in the programming. So my best wishes are with each one of you. Don't forget to tell me your performance in the comment section of this video. I will be waiting for your comments and as most of you have your last exam today, wish you all the very best for this last exam and few of you have few more papers left. So best wishes to them also. I will try to stay connected with you even after your class 10th examination through more videos. So, wish you all the very best again. God bless you children. Do very well in your exams. All the best from leave classes. God bless you children.